Hey Brick Blogateers, today we're looking at set 21323, Lego Ideas Grand Piano. Now it comes with the piano itself, plus a little bench, and some sheet music. Now there is no stickers in this set, so this is a, an entirely printed piece. The other printed piece is in the underside of this, is says Lego in gold. With a model this big, it's always impressive to not only see the, the shaping of the entire thing, but to also see the functionality. As you can tell, I'm moving it around quite easily because on the underside you have casters that do rotate 360 degrees around and rotate. Uh, this does have a powered up feature and to get to that, you have a panel on the side here allowing access to the power button to pair into your Bluetooth app uh, on your smart device. I'll have a different video showing a brief sample of how the powered up function sounds and works uh, for this piano. As for uh, the details and further functionality, you have the uh, key cover here along with two full octaves of keys in the right position, uh, starting with a C and ending with a C, and uh, having all the half notes in between with the black keys uh, shaped correctly. Uh, you also have a working pedal at the bottom, which actually operates, and you can see the dampers on the underside lifting up, this is for the instance in which you want to press a key, but you want the note to ring out. So what uh, pianists do is they press the pedal so that the damper's out of the way. Uh, so seeing that simulation there, plus with all the various piano wire that's uh, simulated is pretty neat. Now for the uh, lid, as you can see, well, it can move up. But if you want a stand for your sheet music, this can actually fold back. This front section, if I can get to it, can fold up, lock in place, so that you can put your sheet music on there and you're ready to play. Of course, there is a stand on the underside that you can raise up, stick in place, and you actually have a variety of where you want to hook it underneath a uh, Technic brick. But once you're ready to go, you can lift it up and start going. Additionally, another function is on the bench itself. As you can see on the underside, there is a worm gear right there, which is hooked into a scissor lift so that when you rotate the seat, it actually adjusts up or the other way down. Um, in order to accomplish all the angles found in a piano, Lego has built this model in every which way possible, including upside down. Uh, as you can tell, the seat cushion itself, these are actually rounded boat slides. And if you just pull one off, you can see that's upside down. So that's very, very neat. Uh, you're building every which way to make this thing possible. Now, of course, the star of the show is these keys, and you can pull the whole thing out by removing a couple of pieces, which allows you to slide that out, and this can freely be removed. So let's take a closer look at this. Uh, you can see now how each key is individually built along a long brick. Um, on the underside where the key is depressed is actually an ice cream cone that's upside down, creating a nice pivot point. And you can also see the hammers hit upwards and that will actually come in contact with the bars on the underside. Now, as for the dampers, it's just resting on the ends of these keys. So as you press them up, it pushes the damper up giving you that effect. Inside the piano itself, there is a bar back here 
Uh, that comes in contact with every single one of the keys so that when you're playing the piano portion where you're playing the piano, it lifts up the uh, bar, showing it to the sensor on this side of the piano so it knows to play the next note. Uh, as for the piano playing portion, way back in here is the roller with all the lift arms. And as, as the lift arms move, it'll push up the underside of these keys so that the front side, you can see them getting depressed. And they spaced it out nicely so it doesn't look like giant clumps of keys are being depressed. Um, surprisingly, that's, that's as tough or as complicated as the motoring system is. There's just one motor in the center that connects into the roller one sensor on the side so it knows to see and detect keys, and a battery box. It's surprisingly straightforward and simple. So that is uh, the insides of the set, 21323, the grand piano. Uh, it is uh, tough to get. In fact, as of recording this, it's once again on back order. It's one of those sets that has gone in and out of stock. Uh, quite frequently ever since it got released, but uh, we've kind of lost track of it considering all the 18 plus ideas projects that have been released over this last year. And as you can see, all I need to do is pop in one more secure, but it's pretty easy in case there's any sort of problems with your keys. You can pop those out, pull that out, fix it, put it back in, and it's easy to go since that's the most complex portion of the model. Uh, for $350, this thing is fantastic. It will be a dust collector because of the black color. Uh, so that's one negative against it, but it, it was a fantastic set to build and it's an incredible one to play with. Again, set 21323, Lego Ideas Grand Piano.